feeling confident today, you know, play a bit of House of Ashes, make all those right decisions, everyone <laughs> Wait, what? Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Gameplay Trailer. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Are you telling me we got new Security Breach Gameplay stuff going on right now? So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to another thing that I rarely do on this channel, which is... Riches, which is reacting to gameplay trailers. Now I say that, but around about September time last year, I reacted to the old Security Breach trailer and that got a pretty good response. So I'm also doing it for this one. I've seen Dorco, Fusion Z Gamer, Razbowski, Vapor the Gamer, and everyone else already threw out their reactions last night. My goal is always the same. I want to be last to the pie and I think I'm doing it again with this one. So let's get it. As most of you guys know, I'm sure Five Nights at Freddy's is basically what even started my channel off. It's what kickstarted my career on YouTube all that time ago. So I just kind of like doing this to reminisce. One thing I will say is I did watched the trailer loosely yesterday so I know about the release date and things like that but I wasn't really paying much attention to the trailer as a whole. So this time we're going in with the analytical experience okay we're gonna check out what's going on in this trailer and if you guys do enjoy this episode yeah I think you know exactly what to do. All right let's get it. May contain content inappropriate for children? Well that ended that video quickly. Hey okay so it starts out the same way. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there's Glamrock Chica. She don't look happy. And she's munching Freddy down on gang. stuff. Pretty tired, but they'll be back again Pretty next tired. week after a few days. What's she doing, man? Like, and then she looks so alive and angry. Like she was munching on something. Next thing you know. Oh, okay. So she got demolished right there. Initiating nighttime Ooh, Look how sick this no, looks, man. Holograms. New model for the security guard as well. And she's still alive. <laughs> I want you! What the freak? That's so weird, man! So we can knock over cans. Hey, we got sneaking mechanics. Van, I don't know how that works. Did you say boys? What is that all about? And you can get inside Freddy, man. Like, that's crazy. This is gonna be so cool. Look at this, dude. What the freak? Recharge flashlight. We got offices just like the. You should be able to Ooh. escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. So there's that formula. I see that. Until I see then, that. Montgomery. Moving, he's angry, banging on the to door, draw dude. Attention to yourself. What if the there is freak? Way out, Look at the I size. You, find it. you know that part right there. I'm gonna pause my first reaction because when I saw that when I was seeing this trailer, I was disgusted in Steel War. Guys, look at his face, okay? Look at the top hat and how that thing rarely even sits on top of his head. Look at the scale of this guy, secondly. I, I don't approve of this. Three years ago, I uploaded this video here calling this guy the scariest animatronic and my point completely stands with this. There was something about Music Man that just creeped me the freak out and I can't help but feel that Steel Wolf saw that and made it a personal shot, okay? Yes, I'm exaggerating. I know they didn't actually do that. But out of all the characters they could have chose from an ultimate custom night, they had to choose this man here. Let's continue with this freaking trailer. If there is another way out, I will We'll hear about another way it. out. So Glamour Freddy's like the good guy. Yeah. Hey, look how sick this part looks, man. It's like actual old school. Insane. So you got Roxanne, one of the little animatronics there, too. I'm Rock Chica. Oh, there's some kind of like trash place on the ground. All right. There's Montgomery Gaya. It's so sick. Oh, he looks like the brute. And then Freddy finds man doing that glorious. Can we just look at his eyes though? Ooh. Yeah, my dude's eyes look bad. Please make your way to the front of the building. Hey. Where you will be given oh, it's so sick. A voucher for one free soda refill. One free and soda where refill? you will sign a legal disclaimer, releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. What's with this? Have an awesome night. Have parents we'll all learned? We'll see you again though? soon. Parents just never seem to learn. You see Vanny doing that, and then you got that. Like, Would what you the like freak to take is a that? Short survey about your experience. Yeah, I'm scared about this thing, and we get to experience it on the 16th of December, so it's kind of soon as well. First thing I want to look at is, you know, the weird creature things at the end. Hold up, hold up, hold up. These things right here. What the freak is that? They've all got like rying on them and stuff. And yeah, they look absolutely disgusting, by the way. So it looks like this thing will be in like the trash zone area. It's like a collective of all of these different entities, beings. You see how they got the streaks down their face? O almost like the crying child, but it can't be, right? They got Ryan and it looks like they all say in your dreams on the chest, whatever that might mean. I have absolutely no idea. Maybe these are like failed experiments or something like that. They're definitely still active and they ain't happy when they see obviously Gregory roaming around this place. Secondly, I think it's 
so sick how you actually have to hide inside of Freddy, man. Like, I don't know how they would use that as a gameplay thing or if Vanny somehow knows that we're hiding in Freddy. When you get inside Freddy 2, you can press triangle. I don't know if that brings up like an interface or something. It's so weird though. It's gonna combine almost like a whole mall type situation. But then you can see like in the bottom right here, we have an actual camera system where I assume you can click different buttons to look around the place. So it's gonna entwine a lot of what we know about FNAF and mix in also with some really fun new mechanics. And I can't wait. You got cameras, maps, missions. So I wonder if there will be optional things that you can actually do in this game. You see how there's like a start by it? I don't know if that means that there'll be one sole objective. Because you know if they're putting optional stuff and I'm going 100% in this thing straight away. Also, there's a messages tab. So that might mean that we can communicate with the security guard or maybe even Freddy at some point through this thing. Maybe we'll get help that way or we can contact them to actually directly give us the help. Even the star of the trailer is really interesting how Chica is feasting on something. And then after she does that, she almost awakes with whatever is wrong with her. And then this thing crushes her, man. Like, they're breaking up the animatronics when they maybe get defective or something. I don't really know. This star as well gives us a grand reveal. Like, we got prizes there. Montgomery's is to the left. You can see all of this crazy stuff. And a holographic thing in the middle. It looks crazy. And you can see there you've got the little Please, animatronic mate. things. They're almost like waiters, help bots, something like that. It looks crazy, man. I cannot wait to see how they use all this, too. I this dude as well. You. Do you know what I say? So he's talking about, like, the lights off, how he warns it. It's like he's losing control of himself or something. So in the daytime, he's obviously like a good character. You know, he's probably entertaining the kids. He seems super enthusiastic. But then the clip after, like this one here. Immediately, it's like he's the dark inside, man. And he can't control himself. A different personality entirely. And in the night is when he stalks you down. You know, man, I question... Why do they have to have the back area looking like that? Why would they build like a 25 foot tube for this dude to walk around? What is their problem? Like they didn't even have to do that, but yet they do it because they know I'm terrified of it. So I guess this back area here though, okay, I can't look at this dude much longer, but it seems like maybe this is where they're gonna have old relics from different FNAF stuff that maybe we can go back and actually look at. Cause I was looking man, like you see this dude here? It's a Fredbear thing, it's burgers or something. So I don't know what the freak's going on there. I thought it was all about pizza before. Definitely a back area though. It's in the outskirts of the factory. Different arcade machines, different elements, stuff like that. So it'll be interesting to go ahead and see what's through there. So if I get any optional mission to break this dude permanently and never have him surface again as a character, you know, I'm going to be going for that one like it's a main ending story quest. To be honest, other than that, there's not really much more I can say about the trailer. Everything looks kind of menacing, especially Van at the end, doing the exact same pose that happened in the FNAF VR thing. You know, at the ending where we'd like slide across the door and it would kind of be like telling us to be quiet and walk away. It's almost like Van doing the same thing. So I'm trying to wonder like, why would she want us to be quiet? Maybe it's like she catches us and don't want us to make a noise. Something I was thinking about as well, in the old trailer, they teased that right there, but we never got to see the animatronic at all. Lots of people speculating, they're like, we got the color theme, we got the animatronic hand. It's probably going to be Springtrap. Like it looks too much like it. You know, I did a bit digging. I don't think I really figured out too much. It was mainly the obvious things that we could see in front of us. So I actually want to head over to the Reddit and just see the type of things people are talking about there. I love the new trailer, but bro, why does it look like like that. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we kind of took a step back to the PS2 era. You know, they've like removed the shading and stuff. So I can assume that during these sequences, they're trying to somehow represent that the cameras have that low quality grade. The game is still a little while away from releasing, so they could easily brush this thing up. I'm sure like this is probably one of the lesser things they want to focus on. It's not exactly a game breaking bug, you know. And to be honest, even if they end up keeping it like this, I wouldn't honestly care that much. For me, FNAF has always been about the story. Also, let's just spend a moment to appreciate the fact that we were playing FNAF in Click Team. Now we have all of this crazy stuff going on. Like, the difference is insane. I do love the idea of a map, though. It lets you see the whole space of the area a lot more. It looks real grand, and it's gonna be great to be able to use this thing, which I assume is, like, the watch our character has. Hey, you see how that says cam off? So you can see the dude there as well. He's kind of standing there like, what the freak do I do? I'm gonna die. Music man, let's go. Now, Obamasphere. What, what is, what is wrong with you? I don't like how I can see something inside his face. Wait, you can? Oh, crap. Yeah, you, you kind of can see a bit of, uh, underworkings there. I'm gonna close this image down. You know, I hope his dude left his symbols at home because can you imagine just stalking behind like the back areas in the complete dark there's a little bit of electronic whirring as things are going on overhead and then you start hearing the clap and the symbols coming up behind you everything is dark you can't see and then this thing just graces your presence let's see what people think about these guys as well too this post is by storm lost pc by the way retired and vandalized staff bots ah that might make perfect sense actually they do look very bare bones in their appearance looking at these ones here though they don't really have the streaks down their face like the eye mark 
markings, and it's almost like every one of them did have that. Maybe it was a prototype build of these guys beforehand, or perhaps something bad went down. Also, I've just realized Freddy's standing right there on stage with glowy eyes. Like, why would he be doing that? I don't really get it. Here's a small detail I noticed. The mouths are not real and are actually painted on. Interesting. So, someone is going around with these bots or whatever these things are, and they're painting these streaks and the mouths on them, alongside, I guess, like, the in your dreams on the chest. That's kind of like the obvious hint that someone is actually doing this, versus something like these things being built to look this way specifically. That makes things a bit more interesting, and that could be a throwback to some of the lore that we saw in the old FNAF games, but like, who really knows, to be honest? Oh, snap, is it actually the same one? Yeah, just pulling this up, so this is from the Security Breach actual gameplay, and then on the website, this is the one we got, so it's basically the same thing. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense for them to reuse assets versus build a whole new one, so they were teasing the office then within Security Breach from the start, that's cool. It seems as well like the focus is on the old school thing, where they're talking about liability, and you have to sign an actual waiver when you enter the establishments to see that anything that goes down is not their responsibility. So it goes to show that even whilst we've got all these upgrades within the game, the whole mentality of the company, and if people go missing or something, they for some reason still recognize that that is a reoccurring risk, and it would be on their part if that waiver wasn't signed. So it's like, why are they kind of not fixing what's going on underground unless they know there's a dark force still at play here, and they just haven't found a way to completely, uh, like, control this thing? And then you got Vanny, of course, trying to control the show all stitched up. I don't like this dude. I know I'm not gonna. Like, seriously, look at this dude skipping down here. Look, man, like... Wow. Why? Why are you so happy about a kid about to get killed? You're weird, man. To be honest, other than that, like, that's all I kind of got for this trailer. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time seeing what was going down, investigating a bit, and that's really what I'm getting from this thing at face value. I feel like we looked at a couple of cool things, at least within the trailer. Reddit also digging in deep, as they always do, getting out the nitty-gritty things and the small things that they see. Also, hold up. Chica's cupcake is right there. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to take it easy for this video. Look at the new stuff. I'm really excited for this game and cannot wait. It's coming in less than two months as well, which is crazy. Other than that though, guys, this is going to be it for this one. I just wanted to check out the trailer. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this little bit of a different video. But thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.